why would a nonprofit or church need fund accounting? Um, think of, um, you know, when I was growing up, my mom handled the finances in our house and she would put all of the money in different little envelopes and this would be the grocery envelope and there's $300 in it, you know, and here is uh, Tom's spending, Tom was my dad, here's $20 that you get for spending for the week or month or whatever it was. So the money is in these different buckets, they're in these envelopes and if, uh, let's say my dad's spending envelope that has $20 in it, if he doesn't spend it and the next month rolls around, she ends him another envelope for Tom's spending. So he puts the money in this envelope, now he's got $40. Well basically what you're doing is you're saying that money um, needs to be spent in that way and if you don't spend it that doesn't mean that it rolls over to the grocery envelope it means it stays in its own little envelope and now that money can grow or that's that's just what you spend it on where something like fund accounting comes into play is if you have uh, these needs for these buckets of money that have to be spent in a specific way but it's all in one envelope then you need to use a spreadsheet or a notepad or something that you can tear off the piece of paper, put it in the envelope and say, hey, even though there's a thousand dollars in the envelope, this is how much is in the grocery envelope, you know, although it's in one envelope. So as a nonprofit, you may get multiple grants. You may get a grant for, um, you know, something around uh, literacy and another grant for helping um, kids with Saturday sports programs or something. And so those monies have to be spent in those specific ways. If I spend all the money out of this Saturday sports bucket, that doesn't mean I can use the literacy money on that. I've got to save it in that separate bucket. But all that money is all in one checking account in my, in my bank account. And so that's where uh, fund accounting software would come into play is uh, it's the piece of paper that's in the envelope with the cash. It's saying, even though your checking account has a thousand bucks in it, this is how much is in this bucket, this is how much is in this bucket. And then you can produce uh, reports or financial statements based on that. How much is left in this bucket? How much did I spend last year in this bucket? How much did I bring in last year in this bucket? So that's where fund accounting comes in.